Bonita, Bonita, Bonita. Today was a very emotional day. I I feel like it's the loneliness is finally hitting me because everyone is doing things now. Um, and I'm not on social media, you know, like watching people's stories or anything. But everyone is either busy with work or just like yeah, like starting the week off and doing laundry and doing just regular schmegular stuff. And um, you know, conversations are just like pretty much dry, but um, I think it's a mix of PMS and then loneliness, but I completely snap at like someone who was just trying to tell me <sighs> to like take control of my life and you know, really do something with this time that I have while quarantining. I don't know why I mean I know that I have the time to like do actually actually do things that um, I want to do in life like you know creative stuff um, that I've been pushing off because I say that I work too hard or that I ha spend too much time working um, so yeah this friend of mine just like said hey like you have the time to actually do these things it rubbed me in the wrong way or maybe they just kept pushing it and pushing it but I snapped and I was like Jesus like I'm never gonna be good enough for you mm. you know what I mean no we're cutting this out Emily we're cutting this out anyway um, So I was super emotional um, when I hung out. I literally burst into tears because I, I felt like I really don't have a sense of control of my life, even though like you, we all have free will. Like I don't know why, but I just felt super lost now that I don't have like this job requirement. You know, I don't have to clock in at a certain time. Um, for a, literally just a job, not a career, just like a job. Um, so, but they didn't take it, you know, they didn't take it too hard. They knew that I was super, really going through it. Right, so they sent me a couple ideas of things to like jot down and just sit down and really think for myself. Oh, okay, what is it that we need? What is it that's missing? What is it that we're feeling right now? I really need to sit and feel my feelings right now more than ever so I kind of just saw just wrote down who I am where I am um, and then I think he said write down where you want to be um, don't even write down how you're gonna get there just like what you want to like what you see in life and what you really desire and I started doing that and it did make me feel better because it kind of made me feel like, hey, I'm working towards those things. I don't see them right now, but I'm working towards those things. Um, and Laura said the same thing when I opened up to her about it. I just said, like, hey, I feel like at a loss and pretty worthless today, honestly. Like, I'm alone and I feel pretty, like, alone in this world and I don't know what to freak I'm doing so she just said listen you just gotta find other ways to distract your mind right now either I mean the way that basically I had his way of doing things where it was like hey write it down and let it out on a piece of paper and then get back to this um so like therapy <laughs> but free and then her way was like pretty much just like the first days are the hardest because you're not really very comfortable with this 
like aloneness that you have, this feeling of like sitting in silence with yourself, which I am just not used to ever because 24 seven of my life is just wake up roommate, uh, leave work and that's around people 24 seven. Then I come home roommate and then I have the 30 minutes of alone time with myself before I fall asleep, but then that's about it. So, yeah, I really don't have alone time. So right now that I have to like really sit in this silence and then today's day two, well, really a day you two and a half ish, I guess, because the first Friday was um just like a half day. Um, but yeah, she said, "Girl, get a book, take a nap." Watch a movie, do something because, you know, I think she said not don't work out because you don't really know if your body's like can keep up with like it. And I don't really think I can because like I do have a hard time breathing. Um, but yoga wouldn't hurt. So definitely doing a 10 minute yoga. But yeah, just that alone stuck in my mind today throughout the whole day of just like sitting in silence and sitting and trying to find peace in my silence because I haven't done that in, in, in ever. Meditation and yoga. Yoga is already pretty soaking. I usually tend to go for like bar yoga, the hotter, sweatier one because I have more to do. The one where it's meditation, I fall asleep because I really can't focus. Like my mind, I haven't trained my mind to really like be okay with just being still. Um, and if it's still, it's sleeping. Like that's all that I know. So, <laughs> and then I put this outfit on. So I must do one small workout before going to bed, and I'm gonna do it right after this. Um, also. I'm gonna weigh myself because I spoke to my cousin um, who just got off of COVID and she said you need to like get some insure bottles or something because that whole not eating thing you're gonna lose a lot of weight and I already did so I'm gonna probably ask someone to like drop off some insure or something because but yeah, I'm gonna weigh myself just to keep track of my weight, make sure that I'm like okay. Cause when I tell you, it's like I'm eating beans and I think I'm eating, uh, like it's like eating like water with ice cubes. Every meal feels like I'm eating like water and ice cubes. Like, <laughs> um, for tomorrow, what I would really want to do is just. I don't know I mean I guess I have to continue to listen to my body there's definitely things that I want to do but I know that I have to listen to my body first so yeah and my mom said it too she said with everything that you have going on you're only going to sit there and stress yourself about these things and sometimes you have to listen to your body and just rest and it is a continuous fight of not doing enough and resting and trying to find the balance within all that so hopefully I can find a meditation maybe on the calm app which I used to use before and maybe it'll help with that thinking I can do that in the morning we'll see but that was all for today I hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for sitting with me in this silence right now Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video and tune in tomorrow to see what I did with my day. I think today was a good mental day where I, I really was tested, but then I brought it back in and, and, and kind of figured out where I have to work on things and where I have to put more thought into my life. Um, anyway, see y'all tomorrow.